Welcome to our new to forget your gaming and esports hot topics, hot tweets, and the spiciest memes. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Broticus Maximus. And you know how this show works. Producer Tyler's got two minutes on the board for each topic, and we will present and possibly argue. Luckily for all of us, there is a mute button still standing by to shut the other one up. Oh, yeah. Shout out to the chat. We like it when you call us out when we're wrong and praise us. When we're spitting the truth, so let's get to it, Brody. Another week of Fortnite World Cup qualifiers just ended, and do you know what that means? No. A brand new controversy. Oh. Fortnite duo double X if and Ronaldo qualified for the World Cup last weekend. The problem? They both were banned from Fortnite for two weeks and kicked off of their former team Rise Nation after allegedly cheating in a previous qualifier. Many Fortnite pros, fans, and commentators are not happy about this to say the least, but they're not mad about the duo qualifying since they qualified fair and square this time. They're upset at Epic for not banning the two permanently. Brody, what What's your take on this situation? Sounds like a bunch of scrubs that got destroyed are mad. You salty, bro? What like, now? if they made it in fair and square, who cares, really? Like, wh why would you ban someone? Per they cheated once. You, you give them a slap on the wrist. You give them a, t a temp ban, you know, for a week or whatever. And then they move on. If they do it again, then you start to go to longer terms of okay, banning. So you're not of the mindset that once a cheater, always a cheater. No, because clearly they made it in. Fair and square this time. They learned their lesson. Okay. So this is why you should always give people second chances. But and the people that are complaining are just salty that they got in and probably got stomped by these guys in oh. some match. That's um, okay, probably what's happening. Just because they made it fair and square this time, like that's what it seems like. Maybe they did something shady and didn't get caught. Did you ever think of that? Well, if you didn't get caught, you're not guilty. What? That's not real. That's the way the law works. I see. So like secrets, they just everyone's keeping a secret, yes. and they didn't really do anything wrong. Exactly. No, I I have no issue with this. I mean, like if if you 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 I hate cheaters. Like I, I hate when people cheat in games. It's just it's just stupid. Why do it, right? Why do you add but, the in game thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you do it, well, that's a different topic. It, it, I'm giving second chances right now to these guys in game. But because IRL, he won't, ladies. That's another that. topic. We'll see. We're not getting into that right now. We'll see. Okay, okay. So there's room for growth. That's what I'm saying. So for for this, it's true. There's room for growth. You you have. A little cheat you have a little moment you decide to like get ahead in life yeah. and you get you get in trouble for it so uh -huh. you learn your lesson and you move on I agree like yes. Epic does not need to do the permanent ban thing for these boys and they're like they're young too like they how many dumb things have we done when we were young? I am so glad that the yeah. internet wasn't really a, a huge yeah. thing like you know Facebook and that didn't come around until I was already in my teens so it's like I didn't I didn't <laughs> Somebody have quickly time. do the math and calculate yeah, how I, old didn't, Brody actually is. I didn't actually have time to do like to say all the stupid stuff. I've done no, and said some stupid things, but, but I couldn't project it onto Twitter. And But I hate that Facebook actually <clears> does that and reminds you of things that you even posted to your wall like forever ago. Yeah. And like, Look how stupid you were. At one point, were. I thought that it was cool to like live Facebook post what was happening at like the press conferences at E3 on Facebook. Of course, I got zero likes. This is like a few years ago. Okay. I'll go, I'll go back and like, like something just to make you feel good. Anyways, <laughs> we're moving on. Remember Artifact? Yeah, Valve's digital card game that had been reduced to a meme on Twitch in less than six months. Well, artifact designer Richard Garfield has some thoughts on the game's collapse. In an interview, he said that the combination of a poorly understood business model and review bombing sank artifact's reputation. Garfield also refused to say the game was pay to win, despite the fact that the new cards could only be gained through trades or direct purchases. So do you think it was due to you know the poor understanding of the business model, or is it because it was so blatantly pay to win? Like, could this have succeeded if it was like, you know that all the cards are accessible um, without having to pay? Well, yeah, for sure, but like, why can't it be both of those things? It's definitely a combination of both of those things that caused the fall of Artifact. I mean, whenever I think of Artifact now, I just think of Slasher, like Rod Breslow on Twitter, <coughs> saying like, oh, Artifact's really popping right now, and this is where people are going. They're saying they're playing Artifact, but mm -hmm. it's just a bunch of uh, smutty stuff on Twitch that's happening and people are getting away with it until somebody reports it. Yeah, have you seen oh, this stuff? Oh, the art yeah, Artifact have on Twitch? Yes. Oh my god, like all the illegal stuff is going on on Artifact on Twitch now right now. Now you know. Like, <laughs> there's definitely some NSFW stuff on there. 100. There are full out movies that are copyrighted being 100. played on there. It's so funny what happened to Artifact. Like, I mean, not funny to the devs that made the game, obviously, because no. they made a game and it hurts for, for something to fall off like that. Yeah. But like, it's crazy how how much it fell off. It's not like the game just died. No. It died and then went up in flames and yeah. started throwing napalm everywhere around it. Like yeah, it, it's it true. is gone and still burning. 
It's yeah. I mean, it's embarrassing, obviously, for the people that spent their time working on something like this. Like, it takes time to make a video game, okay? Mm -hmm. And like the fact that they took all this time and created something that people are just flaming. Like that kills. It hurts, and I don't know what they could really do at this point other than apologize and maybe <laughs> give us a different game model. Sorry for making that game. Can you imagine making a game so bad that you had to apologize to the public for even making it in the first place? Didn't, didn't they do it for No Man's Sky? I think they did that for No Man's Sky, and then well, they remade it, basically. I, I suppose, yeah. I, so but they, like, it can be done. I, get, I think they tried to rework it. I think it was just like the overall, with the pay to win and the fact that it was, it's not as accessible as Hearthstone. No. Right? It is a lot more complicated with the different lanes and stuff. Um, it was just kind of doomed to be a niche thing mm. to begin with. And then you even kill that niche thing by making it pay to win. Rip. Okay, we got to move on. Riot Games revealed Pro View last month, which lets fans spectate matches from the perspective of pro players. And one pro isn't happy about it. Fanatic's mid laner Nemesis said on stream that Pro View punishes good pro players since it lets everyone see how they're able to play. Nemesis will also be streaming more since one of the big advantages in not streaming matches is now gone with Pro View. Brody. Does Nemesis have a point, or is maybe he just whining? Because now people are gonna see his strat. Well, when is if, if ProView is <coughs> excuse me only being used um, during tournaments, you see them play anyways. Yeah. Like that really doesn't. I don't really see the concern here. Now, if you can see them all the time when they're in scrim, that's different, mm. but I'm pretty sure that's not going to be a thing. Like, you probably can't watch the pro when they're scrimming with their team. That's not going to happen, because that completely ruins the whole point of having scrims, coaches, trying things out. Like, that destroys that whole thing, right? right. There's no and, point. And then I'm your not, strats are out there. Well, but, I feel, but for I a tournament, like, we can see you play anyways. I feel like they will get rewarded, too, because it is a paid, it is a paid thing for people to use, so a lot of the money, if they're being paid for that certain org, um, that money goes to that org. Like, maybe if it goes to him, like a certain player, and actually, if he gets actually, paid, for if the people he gets paid are watching. more, like, maybe he just needs to see Because it's almost like streaming first. at that point, too. It's like, you're, you know, people are watching you because you're good, so if you stay good, people are going to keep watching you and you make more money. I like that idea. I doubt that's going to happen, no, no, but... It, it is, is that, the, is it's that a paid thing is going to the orgs. Yeah, it, but that's what I'm saying. Is it going to the players? I is, feel like it has to go to the players now at this point if the players are going to be complaining about it. Like, they need some kind of incentive to be okay with people that's why he's complaining them, about it. Right? Like, maybe be more public about he's it. He's like, indirectly, give me money. Yeah, yeah. Watch me. Give me money for sure, and I can show you what I do. Because that's basically what's happening. Like, when you're watching just an overall match, of course, with League of Legends, like, I don't I don't know what the frig is going on. Like, I don't know what strats yeah. somebody deployed before it happens. Like, it just all unfolds, right? But yeah. this where you can see the point of view of the player. I freaking love it. I think it's amazing for fans, incredible fan service, and if they're gonna pay for it, let them have what they want, and then you reap the rewards. Yeah, I, I mean, it depends how much they're showing. Like, if they're showing, like, full on clicks, like where is this guy clicking every single time? Um, if they're well, yeah. doing that, that gives away a little bit more. I kind of see concern there, but at the same time, if someone actually wants to break down and watch your match while you're playing in a tournament match mm -hmm. anyways, they can see what you're doing, right? Like they can straight up just see, okay, he's wiggling this way. I know where his clicks likely yeah. are right now. So it, it, it's well, almost if, a non-concern. If you're smart enough to get there, I'm not. It, I'm me? No, me. Oh. I'm not either. Anyways, ah. in Telltale News, the studio's closure has seen several games delisted from storefronts. Though some, like Tales from the Borderlands, may come back later, that will not be the case with Minecraft Story Mode. Come June 25th, that game will be removed from every console it launched on. But it won't just be gone from storefronts, you also won't be able to re-download it even if you purchased it. The Minecraft website even says that owners should download the game before the 25th, making it clear that it will never return. Oh this is, yeah, like, I mean, it's it's less the loss of Minecraft story mode that this seems a little stupid. The, like, this this brings to light that in the day and age where you're not buying discs anymore and you're yeah. downloading stuff, yeah. do you actually don't own the games that you you're buying, have them, yeah. right? They have, like, it's in their terms of service. They have full right to take it away. I, I, I don't like that. I love that. I See, like only that. you would know that because you actually read the terms of service, and I Sometimes. so love you for that. <laughs> no, because then you you remind me of things like, oh my gosh, it's true. They do. I have so many games just in the cloud, essentially, that yeah. I haven't actually put I could take those away at any my moment. console. That makes me so sad because it's just like the backlog. You were talking about Steam yesterday, mm -hmm. but for me, it's on my Xbox, like all these games that I've purchased haven't downloaded onto my new console just because like I haven't gotten around to you yet and I haven't mm -hmm. had time to play the game. I want to know that back if I think back on it, like you know what, I haven't played.
played Minecraft Story Mode yet. I want to play that right now because I friggin' love Telltale. Like I loved those games, mm -hmm. and I don't want them to be taken away from me because I well, purchased them. They're being taken away from you. But I bought them. So they're mine. So deal mine. with it. No, you didn't. Yes, you, I did. You bought the right to use those games for the time that they allotted to oh, you. Oh, I see. It's a rental fee. <laughs> yeah, it's it. essentially a rental fee. That's why I, if it's a game I absolutely love, I actually still go out and buy the discs. I don't know. I'm just like old school gamer here. I and I love having like a collection on a shelf too. Yeah. yeah. Like a physical thing. Oh, I do buy a lot of games. Like um, like I'm, I actually haven't bought the physical copy of Rocket League. Um, I, it's all just downloaded, so that can Blast just go away. For me. Yeah, but uh, like other games, you know, if it's like Last of Us, Uncharted stuff, yeah. I actually f I buy the disc because. I just like to have it. Yeah. Also, in the future, even if the server shut down, at least I can put it in my system and play it. I know, That's but then we're just adding me. to all that junk we were just talking about yesterday that we can't clean up, and it's just like so much stuff. We've got cords, we've got games, we don't have room on the shelf, and like I have so many games on my shelves. Like I love my shelfies for sure, mm -hmm. but. I can't fit anymore, like, because we don't live in that age anymore. We're just adding plastic to these landfills everywhere. We can't That's do fair. it, Brody. Well, we I don't to add it to the landfill. It's on my shelf. I, keep it still. When you eventually <laughs> clean. All right, never mind. When's that? It, it's time to check in with streamers and clip it. First up, we have a clip from Jagermeister, who decided to clean his room, topical, for the first time since 2005. Oh, that's a little bit of a uh, yikes. Okay. I see cliff bars. I see cliff bars. Hey, we're getting closer to the center of the core, boys. <sighs> you tired yet? End my fucking suffering. Oh, come on, dude. You just started. Let's go. I just Keep started. going. Keep I going. Saw he saw all rap. You, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> There's a piss bottle, man. It's compacted <laughs> like <laughs> sandstone, dude. It's like <laughs> sandstone. I had reached <laughs> under that. <laughs> I'm like. I'm gonna sh I'm okay. So I'm gonna show this to it. anybody that says my room is messy. No, that's disgusting. Like that's <laughs> messed up. Because think of how much that room smells. Like I saw a previous clip of this, and he said that he just hadn't cleaned it since he moved in, like how, like ten years ago. Like it wasn't cleaned then, and it's that's not clean now. Like you have bags of garbage in your room, literally take them out and put them in the garbage can. I, I don't understand that at all. Don't you want to, I don't know, have some room to walk around? No, I already, f yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I already feel like cluttered if I have a couple like Mountain Dew bottles or like a plate or something on my desk. I'm like, all right, my mind's too, ma I need to at least clear this. And that's like three or four things. That was like his meals from the past five years, like all the takeout containers on the floor. That's wild. I don't know. That's like also crazy this kind of stuff me. just makes me feel like like you've you've given up on just like I don't know, being a, a member a of society, being. like a human being. Yeah. Because we don't like like even if you were like to start dating somebody, like don't you wanna, I don't know, bring them back to your place or you're always gonna go to their place? Like they, they won't know this disgusting secret about you. Mm. Like it's it's pretty nasty. Like we, we have we have we have a responsibility to at least maintain some kind of cleanliness around us. And I, not freaking litter is another Devil's thing. Devil's advocate, it's his own space. Do what you want with it, I guess, at the end of the day. It's not... It's, at the end of the it's day. It's not... No, it's not it's healthy. His place. It's not sanitary. It's his place. No, there's probably, like, bugs in there. There's probably, like, dead Maybe mice. Maybe he likes bugs. Maybe he likes dead mice. Who knows? <sighs> Our next clip, though, comes from Grosscore, who was debated by a RuneScape streamer. Now I need to watch this. I can't go back in time. What do you want me to do? You know, give me a second. Who is this guy? Cybo. Okay, Cybo. Who's going to stream a compliments Gross Score? <gasps> compliments? Compliments me? Honestly, I don't know why Gross Score gets so much hate on his streams. He's He's got such a great personality. He's one of my, you know, favorite streamers there is out there right now. And, you know, it's just a, just, just as a real shame he's such a sexual predator, you know? So that's really unfortunate. <sighs> I've lost trust in everyone. Why would you trust someone on the internet in the first place? The f you do not trust an anonymous face from Twitch to do anything to at all, ever. Do not trust Twitch. How, like, how is that fair? <laughs> you got how, debated, how bro. Fair? Yeah, you got debated, but like, what, is, what, what kind of world is this? What kind of world do we no, live that in that funny. we can't trust anybody ever for anything? But no, you can trust people that you know because it's different, it's face to face. Do not trust Twitch chat though. If someone sends you a link in Twitch chat, first off, risky business opening a, a link from, from Twitch chat while you're streaming. That could open something that'll get you banned or a virus or something. Don't trust don't trust. I guess, Twitch yeah, chat. and while he's streaming too. Yeah, like, that's, that's the risky thing. Yeah. That's my word of advice, Dan. That off I, is don't, right, don't just, trust Twitch okay. chat. 
I don't trust you, Brody. It truly really is the best time of day where we scroll the Twitters to bring you all the things the pros bless us with on their timeline. It's the best when they get reminded of their past and share it with the rest of us. Our first week comes from the crab man himself, Hungerbox. He says, someone just handed me this while I was watching PM Finals and walked away before I could say anything. That's, oh, that's brilliant. That's it's adorable. It's crab. I guarantee you he keeps that for the future. That's his good luck charm now. That oh was God. that was brilliant. Totally. I love that too. Like somebody just, I love that they just handed it to him and they walked away. They, they say nothing. nothing. Like not, not like, hey, this is who I am, you know, yeah. to shout me out on Twitter. It's just like, there you go. Bye. I, I actually That's love that brilliant. so much. I, no, <laughs> I wish people would give me gifts. And then walk away. Even if they're <laughs> from memes. Yeah, that's I'll great that I'll it, it can turn wholesome. I'll give you something in a brown paper bag and then walk away. And is he going to set it on fire It'll as well? It'll be my puppy. <laughs> Why are you? No. <laughs> that was just not even good. I'll, okay, let's keep it going with the FGC <laughs> love with another OG Justin Wong. This tweet is meant to teach. He says, the worst type of convos why don't you follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Yo, straight up. <laughs> straight up. I know you hate that too. What do you follow me on Instagram? You're like, I don't use Instagram. <laughs> First off that, like, how many people have come up to you and be like, uh, yo, I'm this and this, great talking. Why don't we, why don't we follow each other on, on Instagram or Twitter? Uh, it's actually the worst. And it's also like, if I follow someone because they asked me to follow them and like, I'll do it and then they don't follow me back. I'm like, what? The worst, so it's fine when they DM you like, yo, follow for follow, whatever, because you can just ignore them at that point, right? But it's like, it's, it's when someone's in person, you can't just like walk away. I guess you can, but like it looks rude. It's like <laughs> Tyler's in my ear right now asking why I don't follow him. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, okay, I did follow Called you, but I'm so sorry, I did follow you. But like you're really bad at Instagram. Like if you're if you're bad She's at Instagram, so hateful. no seriously, if you're not good at Instagram, like I'm gonna unfollow you because I see that trash on my feed. Like I want to look pretty, man. I think you took a photo of like like traffic once or something or like a, what did you do oh huh? it was a video it was a video of traffic you took once and that was like <laughs> that's a post. fair put that in your story <laughs> man like why is it a native post anyway if you're not good on instagram i'm gonna unfollow you straight up and don't ask me to follow you back on twitter i j actually i remember james chen got asked to follow somebody at an fgc event i watched him like it was unfolding in real life yeah. and they asked him to follow him back on twitter if they would follow him back and he's like oh that's like you know how nice james chan is yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like oh yeah man sorry just try to like keep my followers like really low just better for business if like like he did a whole yeah. explanation thing on why he doesn't actually the follow ratio man back, it's the which, ratio it's true the ratio is important so i'm sorry if i don't follow you back it's not that i don't care for you or care for your um following of me i need your follows but I can't follow you back. I just need my feed to be relevant. And if, like, if you're not tweeting relevant things to my business, then I can't have you there. To my business. Yeah. All right, uh, <laughs> let's move on here. We had a little melee, a little street fighter. So why don't we tap into a little Mortal Kombat pro hot take? Okay. Scar tweets, let's stop saying, oh, the character is just good because so-and-so is playing them. You sound stupid. If the tools ain't there, I don't care who you are, the character is going to remain trash. Brody, you must yeah. have words on this, Melee Man. Yeah, so actually, I mean, um, there's uh, relevant with AMSA. I mean, a Japanese player came over and started using Yoshi and started wrecking people, beating like the gods, like Mewtwo King, with Yoshi. Mm. And everyone's like, whoa, is Yoshi suddenly good now? Because like he's winning? No, Yoshi's ability is still capped. Like you can still definitively see where he has flaws and where he's gonna fail. It's just that people didn't know the matchup, so they didn't know the tools. Eventually, look at that, Yoshi bumped a little bit on the tier list, but then went back down, right? Like it's, there is a, a cap. If you understand the game mechanics, then you're gonna understand that, okay, a character only has this much potential, no matter right. who's gonna use them. Right. Now, there may be things like that Yoshi that you never knew could happen before, but you still know that they're limited. So okay. I agree. But it's surprising and also maybe his opponent didn't train against a Yoshi because nobody uses Yoshi. That's it, you don't know the yeah. matchup knowledge, right? You yeah. have no idea what you're going into. Oh, I didn't even realize you could do that thing. Right. But now I do, and next time we face up, not and gonna go good for them. Okay. So I agree. <laughs> Let's move on because it's time to get some crowd controlled. Uh, we've collected a lot of stuff on the internet for you guys to take a look at, so let's dive in. Let's start with a game beginning uh, we're, uh, that we're all familiar with, mm -hmm. although I bet you, you haven't seen this version. Okay. Hello. Hey, it's you. Finally awake. What's going on? That's right, to cross the border. Yeah, I had a move. He's going to both sides. He's going to both sides. He's going to both sides. 
thief over there. <laughs> oh, oh, brother. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Just the him then. Watch your tongue. <laughs> this is Skyrim. True high king. And that's <laughs> gonna <laughs> Yeah, that was the, that's a new feature they've added to Skyrim because they know you've all seen that intro a million times now that yeah. they had to spice it up somehow. <laughs> now, that was probably not supposed to happen whatsoever. What do you think it was like an that invisible... That is a bug, not a feature. No, it was like an invisible tornado or something. Like, that's all it was. <laughs> are, it was. There, are there invisible tornadoes in, in Skyrim? Like, have you come across a lot of these invisible yeah, tornadoes? I've, I mean, it turns out, yeah, there are. There are a lot of like yeah. invisible things in Skyrim that just like happen sometimes. You're like, oh, that's is that exciting. Why, you know what? Yeah. Maybe that's the explanation they can use for all the bugs in all their games. Yeah. Is it, oh, there's actually just a bunch of invisible things you guys haven't discovered yet. That's yeah. why weird things happen all the time. Well, yeah, I mean, there's Look magic at that. in it's Skyrim. Now. It makes sense. It is a feature, not a bug. Uh, well played. Sometimes they need a dose of awesome to balance out the ridiculous. So here's Orion pulling off a nutty stunt in GTA V. Oh, man, these people, these people are nuts. So. Cute. What? what? How? Like the, the how many times have you tried this and failed? Literally right? zero times. <laughs> no, not you specifically. <laughs> this dude, like this is so sick. Like imagine being those construction workers. Oh but hey, hey real. it's John. He's passing through again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how he has so many planes. What? The, the, the fact that they're like, the fact that they're NPCs in a building. Yeah, like we're that. right. That's a good point too. Why are like they up? That's out. what I love about GTA, man. Yeah. Like GTA is is like the gift, the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, especially like the, it, the RPG version now. Yeah, like it. Well, that because you can just make your own stories. But yeah, yeah. like it, GTA is just like because of emerging gameplay, mm. you just come up with your crazy stuff. Like I've seen so many of those like donut stunts, you know, um, where people are going through the donut hole. Oh, this okay. is the next level. Like. That's double construction building. That's sick. I love to see the people stole. Like, oh how many eight God. years later the game's been? Oh gosh, I don't even. GTA Five was that like six years? Five years ago? A long time five ago. Five years ago? Four. Chat, comments, help us out. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> We're not with it today. <laughs> I forget. Either way, it's sick. Let's end the day off though with some real type three depression. Oh God. It's Monopoly for millennials. But this time, it was uh, someone modded it. It's in this new fun twist on Monopoly. All the properties are already owned. You just go around the board, paying rent forever. Oh. And you start with fifteen hundred already owed to the bank. <laughs> Although that's unrealistic. That's um, unrealistic. Yeah. No. No. How no. 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 That? Have you had an education? That's what I'm saying. It'd be way more than fifteen hundred. Oh, I see. You think it'd be more. <laughs> it, yeah. You're, you're probably looking at more like a hundred thou. Oh my God, a hundred thou, Brody. First of all, you definitely. See, if have I went to school, though, I'd be a doctor. Sure. That's why it would be that much. <laughs> Is that what you think? See, I really care about you. That's why I said that joke, because I just wanted to make you laugh. Oh my god, if Brody went to school, what would he be for real, though? I feel like you would dive into the sciences because you're fascinated. I went with to school that. for computer programming. You did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brody. Tippity tap, but it was too much. I what do you mean? It was too much money? No, Daddy. No, no, it was not too much money. It was, it was too much work. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. That's more on brand for Brody Moore. Listen, <laughs> that's it from you today. Remember, you can always hit us up on our socials just to say hi. We are Squad State everywhere. Find us there, and we'll see you tomorrow.